Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at a prototype of Sonic 3. This prototype is from November 3rd, 1993, which is a few months away from the final version's build. But before we play the prototype itself, I thought I would talk about how Sonic 3 came to be, just so people sort of give an understanding as to what this is all about. Sonic 3 had a pretty troubled development. It started out as a 3D isometric game similar to Sonic 3D. However, the processor it was using, the Sega Virtua processor, wouldn't be out by the time they wanted the game to be in time for. The problem was Sega had struck a deal with McDonald's to promote a Sonic game by February 1994. Since the project they were, they were working on had just been cancelled, Sega had to come up with a solution before that date. Sonic 3 was that solution. It was aimed as a direct sequel to Sonic 2, but later turned out to be much more ambitious. Because of its ambiguity, and the lingering deadline of February 1994, Sonic Team had decided to separate the game into two games, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. Since the game was very unfinished, even right before it was intended to release, copies of Sonic 3 were never given out to the press. The only exception to this rule was Sega Magazine, who gave a full-page preview of the game, which was pretty extensive and stated that the game was around 30-50% to 50 complete. The prototype that's been found comes from this preview of the game. Comparisons with the screenshots show this resemblance. Okay, so here's the beta itself. Yeah, pretty noticeable. So already we've got a, pre a few pretty noticeable differences, main one being the title screen, and this. Yeah, the... So, this is the auto demo. You can see, it's showing a completely different thing to what happens on that. So when you press start at the title screen, you're pretty much brought directly to the level select. So let's just start off with Angel, with Angel Island for now. As you can see, we've got Knuckles here. He looks a bit different from the... Oh, he's gone. So another thing of note about this version of the game is that there is a drop dash, like in Sonic Mania, so, if we hold up and then press jump, then we get a, yeah, a spin dash, or a drop dash, whatever. Okay. Okay. And another thing of note, no special stages. And I'll get back to the special stages in a minute, but, uh, yeah, let's move on for a minute probably also noticed that Sonic's using his Sonic sprites from Sonic 2 as opposed to the ones they used in... Oh, there's a black square. So, second part of the level, uh, a bit... pretty different. This section definitely isn't in the final game from what I remember. I don't think the bridge is supposed to make that sound effect. Sonic's victory animation hasn't been implemented yet, so Sonic just, yeah. The sound driver in this part of the, the game is completely broken. So yeah, you get stuff like that happening. Let's move on to Hydrocity Zone. But this is a pretty interesting, because this has a green background as opposed to the final version's predominantly blue background. Um, shields at this point don't actually do anything. So for example, if I stay underwater for long enough, I'll actually start drowning. Uh, that doesn't happen in the final game because, you know, it's a bubble. Yep, there you go. Uh, oh god. Oh, oh, god. 
Ah. Uh, so let's move on to Carnival Night Zone, and this is definitely where most of the differences audio-wise start to kick in. Uh, yeah, if you're not familiar enough with Sonic 3, um, probably haven't noticed, but um, the music is actually very different from the music used in the final version of the game. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, there's that, yeah. Those, those don't play the same noise. Springs don't make noises sometimes. Yeah, this this game is an absolute mess at this point. Yeah, Act 2 is no different, it's got completely different music. And it starts from the point where the boss from Act 1 starts. So you actually just have to go down here for it to... We're getting yeeted. Alright, here's pretty interesting sort of thing, if you can actually hear me. Uh, the, for some reason, the underwater palette is purple. It's not like this in the final game, but I think the palette for the purple background actually does exist in Sonic, in Final Sonic 3's game files. Flying Battery's next, and I'm actually gonna have to enable debug mode to show this off, because it's that unfinished. Alright, so Flying Battery is rather interesting. You can see that there's just this here, and spikes don't hurt you at all. So, if we go down this sort of pathway, uh, you can't really do much else without debug mode, so I'll just... Parts of the stage graphics being in the foreground, which is odd. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they overlap other parts of the background as well. I think we'll... Yeah, there's another part where I'll be able to show this easier, so let's just... These don't work at all. Yep. Flying Battery Zone, it's a bit of an oddity because, you know, none of it's finished. Yeah, as you can see, like, for some reason, the background elements overlap Sonic it's himself. But they don't overlap objects, so if we place, like, a few rigs here, they won't overlap on the background, which is odd. This is practically impossible. Pretty much no wonder that this stage got cut from Sonic 3 in, in its entirety. They really... Back to the music differences with Ice Cap. We've got this. If you run fast enough, you can actually... Yep, there, we go. there he goes. Whoop. One of the parts where I'd actually say that I prefer the music they put in the final game compared to this. I'm not a yeah, I'm not a fan of like all the PC music, but I'm I, I do like the majority of it. Which... Yeah, okay. So if you get an extra life, the music just stops. So, um, yeah, this is, um, this is incredibly awkward. The last level that you can play is Launch Base. So, right on the get-go, we've got a few differences. First thing, the background is completely pink for absolutely no reason at all. The birds are a slightly different colour. bug with the invincibility. Usually it doesn't appear, but I managed to do it once, so I'm gonna try and do it now. Oh, there we go. Yep. 
so usually in the beta it doesn't appear, but for whatever reason, something here makes it do it. If you destroyed the enemy down by the elevator, it doesn't, it doesn't show up. So I think it might have something to do with the graphics of the enemies. What the f hell? What am I? Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um. That. Yeah. Alright. Um. Help? Please? Oh, that's. Okay, yeah. The sky is garbled. I think we're at the end of the level, so I'll try and, yeah, I'll try and show it off. Oh, crap, I have completely forgotten. Oh. Ow. Yeah, one hit kill. Bit odd. I don't think that's supposed to happen either. How did suddenly green? Everything's suddenly green. It's because of Knuckles' shoes, actually. And then, yeah, that's it. You can't move past this point. Yep, you just kind of stop. Uh, you can't get out. Or at least every button I'm pressing says I can't. So enjoy the Knuckles music. Probably one of the most interesting things about this is the special stages. Now these aren't really implemented at all, they're sort of tech demos to show that they're there and they can do it. Uh, so you've got a few features, pressing A makes it go faster, pressing B makes it stop, pressing C sort of makes it stop, and pressing start just stops it completely. Um, but if you get the second controller, you can actually control the balls. So you can just Yep, there is a second special stage, which is almost the same thing, except it shows a sort of bouncing motion. Nothing like this is ever ever really seen in the special stages. This one has a few unusual things, like you can change the animation to this. Which is, yeah, a bit odd. And you can slow it down by pressing start, and, or just stop it entirely by doing that. So yeah, it's a rather odd sort of looking thing. Alright, so what I've got here is, um, I've got Windows 98 up. Uh, you'll see here that we've got a thing called the Sonic and Knuckles collection. Now this is essentially a... PC port of Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, and you play them all as one game. Um, but there's, for the most part, they're the same game, but there's one primary difference between this and the Genesis version. It uses MIDI music. So, if we just full screen it. So you can see here, it uses... As you can see, we've got um, MIDI renditions. Yeah, this is running a bit off. Usually it runs fine, but I've got a screen recorder going on. The interesting thing about this version of the game, though, is... It uses the prototype's theme. But this came out about like two or three years after the original came out. So the real question is, why was the prototype music used when they could have just used the original music? And something rather interesting to point out as well, this isn't just, like, directly ported as well. 
there's obviously been some work done on the music since this and November 3rd. So yeah, the big question here is, why did a port of Sonic 3 from 1996 use the music for a prototype created three years earlier? I've, I've, I have a, like a few theories. Um, the first one being that Sega just had these on hand. You know how before they port music to the Sega Genesis, they use something like, perhaps they used like MIDI demos for Sonic 3, and when the time come to when the time came to start porting Sonic 3 to PC, Sega just had these MIDIs laying around and just thought, well, I guess we'll use those. Uh, a second second theory, which is probably m most people believe is that it had something to do with Michael Jackson's songs basically being under copyright. This seems to be the theory that stands the most. Yeah, it's a bit of a complicated situation, really. I'm not that much of an expert into the whole Michael Jackson thing. But, yeah, um, if you do have the time, I'd go and try and understand it in some form. It's pretty interesting for the most part. Uh, anyway, I guess that'll be it for the video. I'm, I'm completely surprised that for a Sonic video I managed to shoehorn Windows into it. But um, anyway, uh, I guess I'll go now. Uh, have a nice day, and bye. PCM sucks when I try to record it.